Namaste, welcome to today's practice. You would need a block. That is all we're going to use today. Um, today we're going to focus on Utkatasana, chair pose, moving into various uh, variations of chair pose. Very strong practice works on the inner, the outer hips and the legs. Um, definitely engaging through the core. So we're going to go through two rounds of each variation and you can practice the whole combination if you want more than two times or just once or if you'd like to bring it into a flow you just join them together and uh, create your flow and practice. Keep in mind that you want to keep it steady slow. The idea is not to rush through them. The idea is to really feel those postures. So imbibing or taking in the quality of Sthiram Sukhamasana. So really finding that steadiness, that grounding, that foundation. And then as we hold the posture, take a mental note, go inside to notice the breath, the harshness or the softness of the flow of your breath the emotion and the reflection that we um, reflect out into our posture. Very important. If your breath or your thought process or emotion is harsh and judgmental, you reflect that in your physical body as well. So let's begin with a block. It is going to be a strong practice, so keep in mind that. Uh, but again, it's nice to challenge yourself. So we're going to take the ball, place it in between the thighs. So engage through the inner thighs, outer thighs, ground through your toes and allow that breath when you breathe in to create that space and that length in the spine. For me, what I like to do is sometimes move forward, backward, sideways so that I find my center more or less your center would be your equilibrium, right? That holds you. And that's the same um, center or equilibrium that we need when we step off the mat and into our day-to-day -day lives. Arms by the side of your body or in Anjali Mudra. Choice is yours. So for today, I'm just gonna inhale, roll my shoulders and roll them back down. And I'm going to spend a few moments here just taking in my standing posture, noticing where I'm engaging through the hips, the outer and the inner thighs, pulling the kneecaps up so you're engaging through the legs. And then bringing the palms together in front of the heart. So I live in the dead town center of Brussels. So you will hear noises from the outside, even though my windows are closed. But you know what? Nothing is perfect. What matters is your practice once you're on the mat. And then as you press the palms together, Acknowledging, greeting, bowing, acceptance. You find what relates or resonates with you. The joining of the palms in Namaste is a reflection of what you feel. It's your posture. It's your mudra. And then we'll open the session with a cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Namaste. From here, you're going to inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, come into your forward fold. Moving slow and steady. So you'll pause here, bend at the knees. 
And again, gently swaying forward and backwards. Pressing the palms into the shins. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And again, pausing here, holding. Exhale, fold. Extend the arms up to the side or bring the hands to the hip, your choice. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, engage through the core, the inner thighs as you come up into Tarasana. Exhale, close. Don't worry about the arm movement. Just focus on the legs, the hips. And then we'll come back and do this for another round. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, half arch, hold here. Throughout your practice, you want to gently draw that navel in. Keep it engaged so you keep the prana, the energy, above as opposed to allowing it to expel um, to the lower half of the body. Exhale, fold. Hands to the hip. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Maintain that length in the back. Draw the navel in. Really protect the back here. Inhale. Come up all the way to standing. And already you can start to feel the heat rising within the body. Bring the palms back together. Now we move into Utkatasana chair pose. Again, hands to the hip, or you can use the arm movement, your choice. I'm going to do both. Inhale, extend the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, lower the hip down. Take the gaze in front. Palms either here, or you can extend them up or bring them here. Hold it here. Again, notice if you're leaning too far forward onto the toes, the heels, or are you gripping the toes onto the floor. So keep those toes relaxed. Exhale, forward fold. And here you may want to explore by straightening the legs or keeping the knees bent. Inhale into your half arch. Exhale, hands to the hip, lower the hips down, bending through the knees, lifting the chest up into Utkatasana. Inhale, straighten the legs, extend the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, close the pose. So we're going to do one more round. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, into Utkatasana. And then into your forward fold. Pause here, breathe. Try to steady the breath. If you find the breath is moving fast, Hands to the shin, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Remember to engage the core, soft bed in the knees. Bring the palms together, inhale, into Utkatasana. And then inhale, come up, exhale, close the pose. And then we move into another variation. So I'm going to flip around just because it's nice to change, see from a different perspective. Isn't that what life is all about? So placing the hands. Inhale, extend the arms up. Palms together in front of the heart. Exhale into Utkatasana. 
taking the twist. Fist it to fist, lower the hip down. Now rather than sinking the chest to the thigh, inhale, lengthen, draw the navel in. And as you exhale, take the twist. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half arch. Palms together or hands to the hip. Inhale, you're going to lengthen, move into your Utkatasana. And then inhale, straighten. Exhale, close. I'm already feeling my heart rate go up, my breathing increasing. So I want to keep my movement even slower and steadier. On to the other side. Bringing the palms together. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, chair. Taking the twist to the opposite side. Really engage through those inner thighs. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, take the twist. Lower the hip a little bit. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half arch. Exhale, fold. Inhale, into chair. Inhale up, exhale close. Take a moment here, release the arms. Take a couple of nice slow deep in and out breaths. back into your Tarasana, mountain standing, reconnecting to the earth, bringing the palms together. Inhale, take the arms up, exhale, Utkatasana. Take the right elbow to that left outer knee. Extend the arm, the right arm, yawn, open the left. Exhale, bring that left arm down into your forward fold. Inhale, half arch. Transition to Utkatasana before you come up into Tarasana. Moving on to the other side, and I'm going to flip. I am beginning to sweat. Well, for me, I have two things going. One is I am also talking and practicing at the same time. All right. On to the other side. Always start with your foundation. Never rushing through your postures or the flow. Bringing the palms together. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Now I skipped it. <laughs> Inhale, into Utkatasana. Moving on to the other side. So open up that left arm, yawn open the right. Breathing here. Exhale, bring that right arm down into your forward fold. Inhale, half arch. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, transition through Utkatasana. Hold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale. Release the block. Place the block down. And you'll come down onto your mat. So, lying onto the mat. Bending at the knees. Notice how you feel in the lower back, the legs and the breath. And then you'll hug both the knees in towards you. Gently rock from side to side. And then hug the knees, tap the chin in towards the throat, rolling the spine. Exhale, lower. Extend the arms out to the side, release it into a twist as you gaze to the left. And then inhale, bring the knees back up to the center. Exhale, take it to the opposite side. And then inhale back to the center. And then you'll release into your Shavasana or the butterfly pose. I like to end in Baddha Konyasana because it gives me a nice release in my lower back. So you take the position that works for you. Stay as long as you need to in your Shavasana. Bringing your attention to the breath, noticing the flow of your breathing. So if the breath is fast, take slow, deep inhales and exhales. And when you feel ready, you'll begin to create movements into the joints. Maybe extend the arms above, stretching the whole body. And then hugging the knees in towards you as you roll to one side, pausing there for a moment in that fetal position. And then transitioning to a seated pose. And as we close this short practice, bring the palms together in front of the heart. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Namaste. Thank you. So short practice. Take two rounds, three rounds you'll see how um, it begins to work really deeper onto the legs. For me, just doing this one round, I've already built up um, sweat and the breath really challenged me. So hope you enjoy it. And again, please work within your body movement. Thank you.